back everyone, I'm Shinigami Tabris, and we are doing an unboxing! We've got our loot gaming that came in a couple of days ago, so this would be, I don't know what month it is anymore, because they're so far behind. Not only that, they've cancelled it, and so yeah. Uh, followed by that, we've got the October Tokyo Treat, which came in a couple of days before Halloween, and I'm just now getting to it because of a lot of things that have been going on. But we're going to get both of those unboxed, and then later this month, we're going to prob or this month, yes, November, we're probably going to do a Tokyo Treat where we eat uh, the last two months, uh, September and October's uh, stuff, and you guys can check that out whenever it pops up. Uh, if you're missing it live... You can always find it on the YouTube. And speaking of the YouTube, it's not down there right now, but I'm going to get that updated soon. I now have my own YouTube URL, which is at Shinigami Tabris. <clears throat> YouTube is starting to do the um, at thing, uh, and I was one of the people that got put into the list that could possibly get one since I didn't already have an actual slash Shinigami Tavris or whatever. So, mine is youtube.com slash at Shinigami Tavris. And that should take you to my uh, page now. Yay! I've been trying to get that for a while now, and I'm sort of excited about it. Uh, I just got the email just a few minutes ago. But anyways, <clears throat> without further ado, let's get into whatever this loot gaming is. And hopefully it's better than the last one, because the last one was horrible. Um, as I, uh, tell everybody, I'm not sponsored by these. That's why you get the honest review of me telling you how horrible it actually is. Because, yeah, they can be pretty bad. Um, now don't get me wrong, I absolutely love some of these, and, but... At other times, they are some of the worst that I have, uh, worst things I've gotten, which I'm sort of glad they're getting rid of loot gaming, but at the same time, I like the ability to just get gaming stuff and not random pop icon stuff uh, from the 80s, 90s, and whatnot. But anyways, without further ado, here we go. Okay, we're already at a good start because there's more than two items in here. Um, first off, we have Deathloop, a uh, keychain with bottle opener. I don't even know the game, Loot Gaming Deathloop. I don't know the game Deathloop. Um, how is this a bottle opener? Oh, okay, I see. Okay. Interesting. I was like, where's the bottle opener on it? But it is on the hook part. I don't know if that'll uh, show up well on camera. Yeah, it's on the back part of the hook. Okay, that's not bad, but at the same time, it's not. I've, I've seen better. Um, Castlevania, so I love this game. Dragon Skull Cannon Kiki Muglet Set. I'm hyper curious what the heck this is. Um, I don't normally open these boxes, like, boxes in a box thing. Um, unless it really catches my attention. Like, if you watched the last unboxing of Loot Gaming, I had a Fallout bust that I never opened because I did not care. Okay, here we go. Okay, Tiki, oh, they are Tiki mugs. Definitely Tiki mugs. Um, they are two dragon heads, or snake skulls, what, uh, snake heads, whatever you want to call. Uh, we've got an orange and a bright freaking purple, which this, 
So that's it's not too bad for the fact they're tiki mugs, but tiki mugs. How often do you want a tiki drink? Maybe more often than I think. I don't know. Last two things. We've got a Borderlands Moxie Magnet set. Um, Mad Moxie's always been an interesting character. It looks like they got some stuff to go with her. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. And the last thing, the t-shirt. Uh, and this is how I can tell that they're running out of shirts and whatnot. Because they're typically really good about not repeating themselves on t-shirts. Uh, and at one point, I actually had where Loot... I, I don't remember if it was Loot Crate or Loot Gaming. Messaged me and said, we knew you already had this shirt. So we sent you a different one instead. Uh, which tells me that whoever is running it now, because I knew at the at some point after that, they got bought out. Uh, now they don't really give a damn, because... But, it is a Sea of Thieves shirt, which I absolutely love Sea of Thieves, uh, but I already have this one. But I will gladly have a duplicate so that I can wear it twice. Um... Uh, while one's dirty and whatnot but anyways it's not a bad box but i am sort of glad that they i'm hoping that what they do is take the time that they were spending to make this box to make the loot crates and the firefly crates and stuff like that be better firefly crate is something else that i get the cargo crate i get it i think it's like a bi-monthly crate or a it might be once a month, uh, once every two months, or once every three or four months. It's not an every month crate, and then loot crate's supposed to be an every month crate, along with loot gaming was supposed to. That's what I'm saying is I hope that they, by canceling loot gaming, I hope they put the people that were working for it, uh, into loot crate, and make loot crates better because. These were lackluster, and some of the latest loot crates have also been lackluster. And I get that they're saying that some of it's due to shipping process where things are not coming in in time. But at the same time, you pre-ordered everything, which I guess you could just do what Loot Gaming did, which was delay shipping it to us. Because uh, I want to say this is like a February crate, or March, something stupid like that. Um... So yeah, you can delay shipping it to us and get us good products, but like, get us good products. Anyways, that was the uh, October slash November uh, loot gaming. Again, they're not sponsor. They don't sponsor me. Shinigami Tavers here. Uh, I do all of these reviews so that you can see what's in the box.